Anna Maria Leonte is a marketing manager for Jumio and joins us. Welcome, Anna Maria. What brings you to ICE this year? Thank you very much for having us. Well, we are a usual guest at ICE this year in particular. We are here to spread more the news about Jumio, what do we do and how we can help gaming operators improve their sign-up processes through the identity verification uh, tool we provide. Tell me a bit about that, uh, that identification and the report that the report that has just come out. Tell me a bit about that report. Sure, so just uh, briefly explaining explaining what do we do. We help top gaming operators um, verify the digital identity of their customers. So if, for example, you are 888.com and you want to make sure that um, your player is whom they say they are, we quickly take a picture of their ID. Uh, the user does that and it's just a matter of seconds. We're the highest uh, accurate um, product on the market. Um, but I think going back to your question, uh, we carried out the research in uh, partnership with the iGaming Business, Business Review and uh, Harris Research. So it's a collaboration between um, Jumio and uh, these companies. We had an in-depth uh, qualitative interview with top gaming companies, with operators, and then we also interviewed um, uh, players from various countries, like it from Italy, from Spain, from the UK and Ireland, to find out what is really that, what is. Um, that players want and how can um, operators help with that. So we found there was a disconnect between what operators wanted to provide or thought they provide and what uh, players wanted to receive and it was mainly within mobile. So we found that there is a high chance for operators to monetize on mobile, um, mobile channels as well, especially at the identity stage. Just tell me very briefly, try and condense it if you could. What what was the report seeking to establish and what did it find? Sure, so we let, we departed from a hypothesis that uh, stated that perhaps, you know, um, players are underserved on mobile devices and we started to research into that and we found out that indeed, especially in certain countries like Italy, people do take more time and the dropout rate is high on mobile devices and that also the they do enjoy and they do spend more time on desktop, but there is a need for players to spend more time on mobile devices, especially at ID points. So they, it came to two things in particular, to use of um, um, the user experience, how easy was it, and the length of time spent on the app. The shorter the, the experience, the better for players. Uh, can you give me some figures that the report established? Sure, so um, about 40% uh, of people spend more than 10 minutes and then to uh, log into the app and create an account and then more than 10% more than one hour which is highly, uh, it's, it's a high number within any industry, not only gaming industry. And also I think quoting one of the gaming operators that was interviewed uh, for this report they offered the same experience on mobile, on desktop, and on other channels when we know it should actually be personalized. Um, How are you finding ICE this year? What are, what are the buzzwords? What are people talking about in the show this year? Uh, so from the Twitter world, I see digital identity verification. I think it uh, um, it, it, it took a bigger, you know, it, it's, it became much bigger at the event as well, from one year to another. We see this not only in gaming, in finance as well. Uh, but about this particular show, I think we really liked it this year. It was great feedback from the organizers. We see more people and we see lots of engaging, you know, um, speaking opportunities as well from other people at Vox, Icebox. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.